Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn from scratch how to install Gradle. In this session I'm going to use a Windows system but I will also show you how to do it on Mac and Linux operating systems and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. We have basic four steps that we will do to get and install Gradle on our system so I will go step by step and I hope you will like it. So step number one is we have to uh, check if Java is already installed and before I begin that let me just very quickly tell you Gradle is a build tool you can call it a build tool or a build management tool or a build automation tool and this is open source so this is free and open source and it is based on Java so therefore the prerequisite is we should be having Java set up on our system if I go to command prompt and say Java space hyphen version I'm getting the version of Java in my case Java 8 is installed so that means we are good with Java just in case Java is not installed on your system uh, you can go to my website which is automation step by step dot com and here so this is the URL automation step by step dot com and here if you scroll down uh, you will find a section programming and you will find Java here you can go here this will take you to the YouTube playlist on Java and here you will find video on how to install Java on Windows and Mac op operating system and you will also see on Linux as well so this will be a prerequisite in my case it is already there so here I will say step number one is check Java is already installed and you can also check if Gradle is already installed so sometimes it happens that you do not know but Gradle might be there on your system let me just show you very quickly so if you go to your command prompt and say Gradle space hyphen V so you can see in my case it is not installed so I'm getting Gradle is not recognized you can also say here Gradle space hyphen hyphen version or Gradle space hyphen version so I'm not getting the Gradle so that means it is not installed second step is download so assuming that Java is installed and Gradle is not installed second step is download Gradle so if I go to the website I will go to Google and just search for Gradle and here we have the website for Gradle so this is the website I will go here uh, let me just close this so I will go to this Gradle gradle.org and here we have very good documentation so you can check the documentation and here we have steps to install Gradle I will go here and here you will find the prerequisite that is Java should be installed and the latest version of Gradle needs Java version 8 or above so you should have that and then if you scroll down you can see different options to install Gradle you can install with a package manager you can do brew install Gradle and this will be very helpful if you are having a Mac operating system you can just get homebrew and then you can say brew install Gradle and everything will be done otherwise if you want to install manually here are the steps so for installing manually I will first download this binary file so here this binary I will download I will click here this will download this zip folder and I will open this folder so here is the zip folder now you can unzip it and put at any location on your system so this is in download Gradle we have to get the zip folder from the binary section and let me also copy the link all these notes and links will be available in the description of this video so I'm putting the link as well here and then we have to unzip and keep at any location on your system so I will go here and do a right click and say extract all or unzip and here I want to put this 
on a different location so I will say browse and I want to put this on my D drive under tools folder so I will select this folder and I will say extract so this will start unzipping the folder and will put this on the D tools folder so this is now done and you can see in my D tools I have got this folder gradle and 6.0.1 is the latest version at the time of creating this video and if I go inside this folder we have all these files and folders as well so I have done these steps step number one and two step number three is set environment variables so I have to set environment variables so that Gradle is available to be used on this system otherwise I will always have to go to this particular folder of Gradle and then I can use it but I want to use it system wide so I have to set environment variables and to go to the environment variables you can either just search for environment variables and you will get this edit system environment variables and if you click here you will get this window and you can click here environment variables and you can see this window or the other way is you can go to your my computer or this PC do a right click and go to properties and here you will find this advanced system settings go here and again you will come to this window that is system properties and we have here environment variables I will go here and here we have our environment variables window now here if you see we have two sections the first section is the user environment variable and it will be specific to your user so in my case you can see it says user variable for administrator as I am logged in as an administrator user for on this system and then we have system variables so these are the variables that are set system wide for all the users so you can decide if you want Gradle only for your user or system wide in my case I just want for my user so there are two environment variables that I will set so I will set I will create a new environment variable called gradle underscore home and then I also have to add the path in the path environment variable so I will go here and click on new and I will create a new environment variable called gradle home so you can see this is gradle underscore home and then I have to give a value and for the value I will give the location of the folder of Gradle which is this one so I'll just copy the location and give the location here so you can see this is what I have done Gradle home and the location and say ok and that is done you can see Gradle home environment variable is set here now the next thing is you will go to path you will already find there will be a path environment variable so just go here to path environment variable and click on edit now make sure you do not change anything you may see a different form of uh, this variable in case you are using a older version of windows there you will just see a text box and there will be some data already present in that text box so in that case do not remove anything you will just put a semicolon at the end and then give the location of the gradle bin folder and if you are getting this way which is a new way of the path environment variable you will just click on new and then you will add the location of the bin folder it is not the gradle folder make sure it is the bin folder so I will go inside the bin folder and here I have gradle.bat file and I will copy this location until the bin folder and I will click on new and copy this location and say ok and in case you have a text form you will keep whatever is already there in the text box of path environment variable give a semicolon and then add the location of the bin folder of gradle so once you have done this say ok and ok and you can come out and then step number four is verify gradle is 
installed so now I just have to verify if I go to my command line and again run the command gradle space hyphen v on this command line I am still not getting because this is maintaining the earlier session so I will exit from here and open a new command prompt or a new command window and now I will say gradle space hyphen v and you can now see gradle is installed I can also say gradle space hyphen hyphen version and here again I am getting gradle or I can say gradle space hyphen version this should also show me the gradle details so here I will again say you have to say gradle hyphen v or gradle hyphen hyphen version on the command prompt and this will show you the gradle version so these are the simple steps how you can install gradle on your system i hope this was very useful to you thank you for watching